Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson I'm going to cover a basic principle in Excel. I'm going to demonstrate how Excel performs calculations. Now it's always dangerous to do mathematical calculations in my head but nevertheless I've written in here a formula so I want to get the result and I'm thinking alright I'll take 5 add 15 to that the result is 20 multiply that by 2 now I have 40 let's divide that by 5 I now have 8 let's add 5 to that I have 13 and subtract 3 so I'm expecting this result I'm expecting 10 however the answer that Excel will produce from this formula is 13 now some people say well close enough well I don't think so that's not going to work so how can it be that what I'm intending is 10 but Excel gives 13 Excel is smart but it can't read your mind now, Excel performs calculations using a specific order or an order of precedence, meaning that Excel calculates from left to right. However, it gives priority, it gives precedence to multiplication and division. So it will calculate using the operator's multiplication and division going left to right before coming back to perform addition and subtraction. So if we take a look down here, I've typed out the numbers 5, 15, 2, etc., etc., and I performed the operation. So I took the contents in these two cells, 5 plus 15, and then I came over here and said, all right, let's multiply that by 2, etc., etc. So here's what I was expecting, but this is what Excel gave me. Now, we can control calculations in Excel by using the parentheses. In other words, I want the result of 5 plus 15 to be multiplied by 2. So you see how I've included in left and right parentheses the addition that I want evaluated. I want the result of that addition to be multiplied by 2 and so on and so forth. So now I get the result that I want because I understand first and foremost how Excel performs calculations. All right, let's take a look at two other examples over here. I have an incorrect way to perform the calculation and then the correct way. So here we have a purchase price, a 10% discount. So we're not expecting to get a result where we're going to pay $100. We want to pay 10% less than that. So the incorrect way to do that is not to understand that Excel is going to use multiplication before it performs addition or subtraction. So I hope you don't want to get a 10 cent discount from this. I'm hoping that you want to get a $10 discount and that's because we can use parentheses to control the order of calculation. So in this case what we want to do is inside left and right parentheses take the number 1 and think about that as 100%. So the whole or 100% minus the discount uh, subtract 10% so instead of paying full retail we're paying 90% of the retail price and the way that we get the correct response is by using the left and right parentheses to control the order of calculation likewise down here I have an incorrect way and a correct way to calculate a price increase I want to increase prices by 15% unless I use left and right parentheses to control the order of calculation I'm going to get an incorrect result so once again I'm going to take one and let's substitute that for a hundred percent and add fifteen percent to that so I want to have this hundred dollars be multiplied by a hundred and fifteen percent in other words I want it to be fifteen percent higher than it currently is Let's take a look at one more example down here, calculating a tax payment. So we have our income and our expenses, and we're expecting to say, well, my, my net income as opposed to my, my gross income is income minus expenses, and then let's multiply that by the tax rate, which is 25%. Well, again, if we don't understand the order of precedence, what we really need to do is put a left and a right parentheses around this a cell reference, or these two cell references. In other words, we want the result of income minus expenses to be multiplied by the tax rate. So if you want to overpay on your taxes by a considerable amount, be my guest. 
Now I have put together a little chart where I go through and show you each of the operators that Excel uh, performs. I have an example and a result and I also give you the order of precedence. So you can see the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, down through the tenth the order of precedence. If you would like to receive that just click on the link on my website or send me an email danny at the company rocks and I'll look for you in the next lesson.